What's something only the rich could afford in the past that is now affordable by most? Story 1. Almost everything. Mobile phones, computers, software, cars with way too much power, good clothes, good food, good medicine. Story 2. Pineapples. When they were first introduced to Europe in the late 1600s, they became a mark of wealth. If you packed a ship full of them, only a scarce few would survive the voyage from the New World. It became such a thing, rich people invested huge amounts of money to build climate-controlled greenhouses in order to grow their own. They would buy a pineapple and have it as the centerpiece for their table but never eat it. It was there to show off to your guests. Have you ever wondered why china patterns, expensive cloth, paintings, and even wallpaper from that era would feature pineapples in their design? Because that was a symbol of wealth. Things got better when steamships became a thing. It wasn't until they started being grown in Hawaii, labor exploration FTW, and canning, that pineapple became available to pretty much everyone. Story 3 Diamonds Diamonds were so expensive that the British royals had to rent them for coronations into the mid-19th century, when the empire was its in heyday. Then giant deposits were found in South Africa and Australia, and obviously artificial diamonds are a thing now, so while might not be cheap, ordinary people regularly buy diamond engagement rings. Story 4 Books Before they were copied by hand and only the ultra-wealthy could afford them, but the printing press changed all of that. Story 5 Smartphones. Meanwhile, as the poor, we lost access to owning, renting homes, marriage, children, luxuries, meat, etc., don't know if it was worth it having the phone, though. Story 6. Air travel. It used to be for the rich, like buying a first-class ticket nowadays. Even though the experience in economy class is awful, it's affordable to a lot of people to travel by air nowadays than in the early days on air travel. Story 7. GPS navigation. Being able to travel quickly and easily. Worldwide communication. Access to entertainment. Fresh vegetables and fruits all year round in most places, especially out of season. Personal computers, cell phones, pretty much any technology is usually expensive in the beginning, but then the prices go down. Story 8. Hot and cold running water. It really is a luxury that most on the planet don't have. Let me flex and tell you I also have a fridge that makes ice. I'm ballin' compared to any Roman emperor. Story 9. So much. I've heard someone say that a medieval king would be jealous of a common person with middle-class income. And I think it's not wrong. Spices, lavish desserts. Big amounts of meat and vegetables are commonly available. Also, fragrance, variety of clothes and shoes, not to mention having a private bath or private bedroom. Story 10. Owning your own house. Yes, I know that buying is painful right now, but only about 20% of the UK population owned their own home 100 years ago. And it wasn't until the 1950s, 1960s that owning your own home was the majority thing. You then had a big jump during the 80s when you could buy your council social house from the local authority for a discount based on how long you'd been there. Some of the discounts meant you got 50k properties for under 10k. Alloy wheels on your car. You know that annoying locking wheel nut? That's because alloys were so expensive your car would be up on bricks just so the wheels could be taken. Leave the car, steal the wheels. Double glazing. Eating out at restaurants more frequently than a special birthday or event. It was totally unheard of to just be going out for dinner and a pub lunch would be an event rather than something you'd just do while you're out. Two packets of crisps opened in the middle of the table for everyone to share was the best you'd normally have. Story 11 electric toys that you can move around on. Hoverboards, mini rides, etc. I remember growing up and power wheels were so cool and ridiculously expensive and were basically for the rich kids exclusively. Now anyone can buy something like that for $30. Story 12. Pretty much every modern convenience. Electronics, refrigerators, affordable clothing and furniture, cars, air travel, all the things you have access to due to the internet, etc. A lot of people won't like to hear it, but that is the way of trickle down. Your bank account may suck still, but the quality of life that is attainable for the average person is well beyond what it would have been 50 or 100 years ago. Even if your slice of the pie is a smaller percentage, the pie has grown so much that you've got more pie. Story 13. Home Appliances Appliances, such as refrigerators, washing machines, and dishwashers, were once considered luxury items. As manufacturing processes improved and economies of scale were achieved, these appliances became more affordable and commonplace in households. Cell phones. Initially, 
Cell phones were bulky and expensive devices used primarily by business professionals. As technology advanced and competition increased, cell phones became smaller, more affordable, and are now ubiquitous across all socioeconomic groups. Story 14. Cars. To a degree, I know that not everyone can afford a car, but just try to realize how rare it was when they began, and I think it makes sense to include it here. Computers went from few hundred thousand machines that needed a whole room to operate to small phones in your pocket that can last on its own battery through the whole day. With like 5,000x more computing power than the computers the NASA rockers had that went to the moon, include regular phones to this as well, because phones today are computers and telephones in one. Going back even further, then definitely clothes and food, somewhere to live, etc. Story 15 Cell Phones In today's dollars, the cell phone cost up to $12,500 for the unit. Had a $116 slash MO plan, plus an extra $1. 50 per minute between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. They could talk about 30 minutes and batteries lasted maybe 5 or 6 hours when not used. They didn't text, take pictures, play music, or access the internet. They made calls. That's it. Story 16. Ice Cream It was a luxury even for my parents, because freezer space was limited, and they lived out in the remote countryside. There was a truck that came by twice a month that sold chilled goods like ice cream, frozen fruits, and other thing. I remember Grandma buying a bucket of ice cream, and it was rationed out over the following weeks. Story 17. Hot Water It's just so basic now. You enter your bathroom, turn on the water, and magic, it's hot. For milliner century, Having hot water was really expensive. You had to heat it up first, on the wood, then moving it to the final places. A lot of effort and energy for a bath. Each time I take a hot shower in the morning, I'm saying to myself that even Louis XIV didn't have hot shower every morning. Story 18. Except lobster. Lobster used to be insanely cheap, because it was only eaten by poor fisher families. It wasn't until a man who grew up in that life made it big and paid large sums of money to transport lobster to Kansas in the 19th century that it began to start pulling larger prices. Today we act like lobster is some sort of gold standard. Story 19. Flying with planes. Like 20 years ago, my friend told me that I will never fly a plane because it's so expensive. I thought this was funny to think, but I said nothing. Two years later, I was flying first time, and it was not that expensive. I think 100 euro back then. Story 20 Salt. I read a book that covered the history of salt and wars were fought over the stuff. It used to be worth as much as gold by weight. Salt by Mark Kurlansky was the book. Story 21 Air Travel. Previously, just flying itself was experience of a lifetime. No matter what the destination was, luxury food, slow flying, and several layovers and so on, now flying is like getting on a bus. From point A to point B is as fast as possible with no luxury on board. Just get me a seat and I'll go. Story 22. TV on demand, food being delivered to your door, heating, bathroom inside home, a car, a cool watch, TV, computer, electricity and gas at home. A lot of shit you take for granted, and you already live better than kings did in their day, but you are hardcore indebted to the banks. Story 23. Consider the quantity of metal that any car owner owns. Only the hood of the car probably has more metal than there was in the armor of a crusader. A low-ranking nobleman had to pond or sell his whole estate to equip himself and his horse for a crusade. Story 24. Jelly or gelatine. It used to be really expensive and only the rich could afford it. Once it was cheap and readily available, it was used excessively, hence all those really awful jelly meals from the 50s. The craze died down, but it is still popular and very cheap. Story 25 Computers My dad paid just over $5K back in 1992 for a computer with a 486 CPU and a graphics adapter that only supported 2D hardware acceleration. Adjusting for inflation that PC costed over tilde dollar eleven three hundred in today's money. I could rebuild my computer three, four times with that much money, and my computer is fairly high-end for the consumer market. Other notable mentions include fresh tropical fruits, grapes, spices, herbs, and cars. Story 26. Clean drinking water. Wars were and are still fought over access to clean drinking water, and we don't even think to turn off the faucet when we brush our teeth. Clean drinking water has almost become universal in the industrialized world. Story 27. Sewing machines. Not that many people sew anymore. I have paperwork that shows the owner of mine bought it for the equivalent of perhaps $3,500, $4,000 of today's money, and paid for it in installments. Now $140, $300 will ship one to your door. Of course, the old ones are still running and you're lucky to get five years out of many of the current ones. 
Story 28. Microwave Oven. My grandmother had the first home model. A year after it was installed, the factory sent out technicians to upgrade the main tube to air cooling instead of water. Now you can order them online and have it shipped to you the next day for $1.60. Story 29 Photographs The first generation of glass print photographs were insanely expensive. As in, unless you were rich, you would probably only get one photograph taken in your life if you wanted to splurge. And it wasn't even a huge family portrait-style photograph. It's something that would fit in your wallet. Story 30 Chicken Before the automatic plucking machine, chicken was very expensive due to the labor involved in preparing the raw bird. With automation, chicken has become one of the cheapest meat to eat. Story 31 Indoor Plumbing I remember I worked with this old timer in Tennessee and he used to prank call us and he would always ask if we had indoor plumbing. He said it's a question you use to have to ask. Story 32 Aluminum The pyramid on top of the Washington Monument is solid aluminum. It was extremely difficult to isolate at the time it was constructed, so it was used as it was a precious metal at the time. Story 33. All right, so in my lifetime, owning a video game console was crazy expensive. A color TV was very expensive. A camcorder. Yes, a camcorder was very, very expensive. A personal computer was very, very expensive. A cell phone was an incredible luxury item. And a car phone was for millionaires only. When I was very little, having an air conditioner was an incredible extravagance which no one had. Cable television was something only rich people in fancy neighborhoods had and don't even get me started on satellite TV. Car with power windows and cruise control was something most people didn't have and couldn't afford hack a car with an air conditioner was unusual. Now my mom told me that nobody had a personal telephone in her house and at best they had a party line. That meant anyone in your neighborhood could sneakily listen to your calls. Most of the people she grew up with could not afford to buy beef from the store and often had to rely on hunting for real to supplement the protein intake. There were no such things as credit card, so you couldn't buy something unless you had the money, which meant you never bought anything. Although college was not as expensive, it was an absolute luxury to go to college if you didn't have a scholarship or wealthy parents. In fact, the best way to go to college was to join the army, not get killed, and then use the GI Bill to complete your studies. My dad did not have a refrigerator and instead had to pay a guy to haul a block of ice up to put in his refrigerator, which of course wasn't really refrigerator, it was an ice box. They had coal which was dumped into the basement and had to be fed manually into furnace. Got all over the place and there was really no such thing as central heating. No one had a television. In fact, no one basically had a car. You took streetcars or just plain had to walk everywhere. Flying on an airplane somewhere was absolutely crazy expensive, and only for rich people or business people, and it was pretty damn dangerous anyway. Nobody had an electric selling machine and often had to use one that you powered with your foot. My grandparents did not have indoor plumbing and never went more than 50 miles from where they were born. A lot of them had to make their own clothes. And when they went fishing, if they didn't catch a fish, they didn't have dinner. I find it hard to complain about the past. When I'm sitting in a heated house dictating into a supercomputer robot which connects wirelessly with the whole planet and have to read about people who complain about how things are so crappy today, you guys should call your parents and grandparents right now and ask them questions. We've got it so good it's not even funny. Story 34, pretty much everything. There was a time when baking a simple loaf of bread was a luxury that most couldn't have due to how much time it took to make. There have been times when various types of food, from meats to fruits and vegetables, were status symbols. Humanity spent thousands of years trading for salt and sugar. Now most all of it is something you can have available the same day for little money. TVs and computers used to be well over a thousand dollars. High-end models were even more expensive than that. Now TVs are bigger and better and fancier and far cheaper than they ever have been. Computers are so ubiquitous that people fail to realize the smartphone they have is a pocket-sized computer. Shoes, books, fucking underpants. At some point in the past, most anything was exclusive to the rich, and it became available to the masses over time. Story 35 Really, the price of almost everything has dropped like crazy. Go in a 100-year-old house. The closets hold three sets of clothes. Clothing was expensive and the average person had three sets. Daily, work, and Sunday. The reason coaches had plastic covers is they cost one slash two the price of a car. They had to last. We all bitch a lot, but we live like kings wish they did 150 years ago. Story 36. So, the average person today in the world has higher standards of living than most nobility and royalty had in the Middle Ages. Having ready access to almost any types of food on demand, just a walk bus ride a car right away, 
Having ready access at home to ice, and to some extent heat, is already more luxury than a king would have had. Being able to go to a public library for free and have access to practically any information about the planet via an internet kiosk. The average person can ingest more information in a day than the noble royal in the Middle Ages did over a year or more. Almost anything technology-related typically drops in price. Inflation can screw with that a bit. But just look at a PC 40 years ago. It would cost you thousands of dollars, when today you can buy a Raspberry Pi for like 50 bucks, which had more compute power. Medicine, again, for the most part, not all, is more accessible and more affordable than in the early days because production scaled up. 